Today we're going to be learning the Windsor knot, the full Windsor or double Windsor, whatever you'd like to call it. The seams of your tie are going to be facing you and the flat side is going to be facing out. The most important thing is that this thin end of the tie is going to be very short and you're going to need to tie this tie quite close to your neck. This end is going to be wrapping around a lot. So we need to have the length in this side in order to be able to do it, otherwise we'll end up with a very short tie. I can't give you an exact measurement of how short or how long you want either side because it will depend on your neck size, the length of the tie and the length of your chest. But in the end, you will want to have the bottom of your tie as close to your belt as possible, your belt line as possible. So the first thing you want to do is cross the thick end of the tie over the thin end and maybe use a thumb and forefinger to hold it there. You then want to take this thick end and push it behind the tie. So we'll take it to the other side. I'll change hands so you can see what's happened there. It's gone around the back and then we're going to tuck it through the middle from the front. So it goes round. So we'll do that again. It goes across, round the back and through the middle. Now that has created a little shoulder in the tie and that's going to help give this tie the width that this knot is famous for. You're then going to take the tie which is going to be hanging backwards and back to front. You take it to the other side and push it through from the front this time through the hole in the middle. And that's going to create a second little shoulder. Now if we tighten this up It'll look like a sort of little heart shape and then you'll know you're doing it right. Again, the tie will be back to front and hanging down the back. Take the tie to the other side, cross it over the front and that's, going to that's effectively going to be the front of the knot when we use it. Then we're going to take this thick blade and we're going to put it from behind through the neck again and then tuck it through that single piece of fabric, which was the front of our knot. When it comes through, we're gonna tuck it straight through there and give it a, a pull. Now, this is the bit when you're gonna get a good knot or a bad knot. If you just pull it up, you'll, the knot's not gonna look good, especially if you're wearing a printed silk tie like I am. What you're gonna to need to do is give the tie a little tug, holding the thin end, then squeeze the bottom of the knot as you pull it up Give the thick end a few more tugs and we're just squeezing and manipulating that knot into a nice triangle. Then you can put your collar down and you, my friends, have a full Windsor knot just like that. Pretty simple. If you've done it, please give the video a like. Uh, if you'd love to subscribe, I'd appreciate that. No one that I know believes that I'll ever get to 100 subscribers. So... I'd like to uh, prove them wrong. And also leave in the comments where you are watching from because it's great to see how far these videos are spreading. So thanks a lot, hope it's worked. If not, go back and check the video again. You will get it, I promise. Thanks a lot.